Hello everybody, welcome to another LEGO City Airport update. Today we're going to be taking a look at the nearly completed LEGO City Airport and new train station. We'll take a look at the building of the exterior and also within as well. It is nearly completed and this is the third update for this LEGO City Airport. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details within this building. Right here we can see the completed train station with the canopy cover that covers the entire train station that services both the airport and the Disney area. The train station and airport itself is on 230, sorry, 248 by 48 gray base plates. So it measures approximately 30 inches long. So it is quite a long uh, building or sorry, wide building, I guess. And constructing these big roofs was actually quite difficult. Took a lot of parts and a lot of inside structure and support. But uh, a couple brick clean corners and I was able to um, create those roofs. I used a sort of a building technique that can be found in one of the air show hangar sets to create the roof of the train station. The airport roof itself also consists of three different pieces. One on the right, one in the middle with the command center, and one on the far left, all in which are detachable to reveal the details inside. Right here in the front of the building, we have a cargo door. The big garage door leads to a cargo hold where they receive and check in luggage. To the right of the airport terminal, we have the ambulance plane. Bunch of different little cargo dudes servicemen around and I recently put all these uh, lights in here with red and yellow to sort of indicate a runway it's the best I can come up with right now I know I could definitely improve that by tiling it and adding some numbers and everything like that just wasn't sure if I wanted to use that many pieces on creating a runway and yes, I do realize that this plane here is definitely oversized for this airport. It's more of a smaller airport designed for planes such as the VIP plane, which is currently setting or sitting in the custom hangar. Then we got a couple air show planes beside that. Then the custom helipads here servicing the shield jet and a couple or a few different helicopters. Then we have the cargo plane to the left. So that's the airport terminal with the, uh, the big train station with the canopy over top. I might even be able to stick my camera right in through this hole here. So we can see inside before we take the roof off. That's the pizzeria. And on the left side there, there's just a few uh, benches servicing the airport side. And right here, there's a sort of just a waiting station. And then in the end there, we'll see more. There is a Lego store. Sort of cool how my new camera can go on a selfie stick and get right in there. I like that. So let's go ahead and take the roofs off these two structures here and we'll take a look at the details inside. So I've got the three pieces of the roof removed along with two support beams that I use inside. Being a large roof, it needed those support beams. Otherwise, it started to bow a little bit. So this is the interior of the airport so far. So I have the luggage carousel for returning passengers here. The luggage would come in this garage door here and then be serviced onto the conveyor belt. Whereas arriving, or arriving passengers would come through from the train station here. Oops, I just bumped into the roof. And come in through the sliding door here, come down the steps, wait in line check their luggage and which would go into these conveyor belts and work their way back into the luggage hold room 
and load it onto the carts. Next, the passengers would move down the line here and into the next line, which is for security. We can see a couple security spots there and a couple security workers guiding the passengers through. Right here is for the search room. So if you get searched or you didn't pass the security tests and you have to get debriefed, you go into there. Then over here in the corner, I have a bar. So it has a wraparound bar with six seats, a bartender, a sink, and then various alcohols on the shelves of the bar. And then just a little seating area with some big glass windows looking out onto the runways. And then there's one sliding door there for departures. Coming back around here, there's one more sliding door for arrivals. So that's the airport terminal as it stands for now. There's definitely a lot more details that can go into that, and there definitely will be a lot more details going into that very well, in the near future here. I might move on to a next project before doing that, but definitely room for improvement, but I think it serves its purpose for now. Moving on past the train station. So this is the pizzeria here. You know, there's just a couple tables, three chairs at each table, basic pizzeria guy. Well, I guess it's more like a concession stand. He's got sausages or croissants or pizza or drinks, a little computer, whatever you need. Right here is a little waiting room with a ticket booth. There's actually a ticket booth and there's a newsstand on this side with two chairs. Then finally over here, there is the Lego store. So there's a little pick a brick wall, some Lego sets, a play center, and a cashier. Some of these elements were taken from the regular train station. I'm sure you've noticed that because lots of you probably have that set. It's a great little set, but I just figured I needed a larger train station. As for the canopy, I can remove it, but it is quite large. A little bit difficult to remove because it sits on so many studs. Not only is it difficult to remove because of that, but just because when you look at the reach that I have to do, like I'm reaching with a selfie stick right now to get all the way over there, it is quite a reach. And even on the other side there, sometimes I have to move that table with the train station, oh sorry, the sort of like industrial train area to have access to this area over here. Walking around the Disney area, which I have been working on a little bit here, uh, populating it with some mini figs. This is the train station that I was just referring to there. Not train station, a train industrial area in which I'm currently working on, and this will be my next project. That's why I have the construction scene set up here as well. Here's the back side of the canopy. Some of the suspended train track going all the way down. And then just a view from this angle of the back side of my hangar. And then the uh, suspended helipads as well. So that about wraps up my Lego City train station and airport review or update. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been a little bit of a grind on this building due to the uh, size of the roof and the amount of parts that is consumed. However, I'm pretty much satisfied with it other than the runway. I do need to improve the look of the runway, maybe using some tiles, etc. Just don't know if I want to allocate that much more parts to the runway. Let me know what you guys think by commenting below. If you like that video, give it a big thumbs up. 
that's about it for today little guys i got lots more projects on the go and a lot more exciting things to come in the near future keep calm build on george bricks out <laughs>